Hi, I'm Dee Dee Daniels, and I'm here to take you through a seated workout today. I've been a fitness professional for about two and a half decades, and in that time I've discovered that it isn't just how you work out, but rather that you work out. So I'll bet that you're sitting down right now, so we're going to do a seated workout. So here's what you need. Be on the couch, or you can grab a chair without arms like I have, a folding chair or a dining room chair works. We're going to work today on cardiovascular. Uh, fitness, we're going to work on core strength and we're going to work on a little bit of flexibility. So those are three really important components of fitness. We're going to do all that from a seated position. Make sure that your chair doesn't have arms on it and if it has wheels on it, preferably you don't have that, but if you have to have that, make sure the wheels are locked. You also need water, a water bottle, a big one or a little one. It's for hydration and it's also going to serve as resistance for us. And then also you need a rolled up towel. We're going to use that for some resistance and you can also use it for some sweat absorption later. So even if you're on the couch, I want you to join me. All right? And unless otherwise directed, try not to lean back in your chair. Stay upright so that way you'll work your core. So we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. Let's start with some breathing. I hope you're already breathing, but we're going to breathe in a very specific way. So inhale, lift up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, stay lifted, blow all the air out, and draw the navel in toward the spine. So let's try that a couple times. Feel free to breathe through your mouth if you need to. Through the nose is good too. Now we'll add some movement to this. So arms a little bit forward. Inhale, lift up a little taller. And then exhale, tuck your chin, round your back. Blow all the air out and let's do it again. couple more of these. So we're going to explore how far we can go in each direction. Extension and flexion with our spine. And then one more. Let's come up now and we'll do a little bit of twisting. So come back to your upright position, palms up, and we'll just twist back and forth. Now as you twist, make sure that you're turning your chest and not just your arms like this. This is similar, but it's not the same. Stay upright. And now we'll add to this by reaching. So we're still twisting, but now we have some extension through our elbow, reaching. By the way, make sure you have lots of room on the sides of you because you don't want anything to get in your way. Separate your feet a little bit wider. And now let's begin to reach across just a little bit at first. And then a little further, so you can go as fast or as slow as you want to here. Just stay in control. Come back to the front with your reaches. You can bring your feet in a little more narrow now. And then start to reach up. So now it becomes a little bit more of a side bend. One elbow down, one arm up. Make sure you're still breathing. So bend from your side. Keep your hips flat on your chair, though. And then we'll take the arms down, and let's roll the shoulders first. One shoulder, and then the other. Up and around, up and around. Now let's do both shoulders. So both shoulders go up and around, back and down. So feel the opening through the chest as the shoulders go back. Let's do one more. Now we'll sweep one arm up. So turn your palm in and reach up. Now here's where you really need to be careful that you're not leaning back in order to get your arm up. So stay tall. One arm. And now let's try both arms. So big inhale here and then exhale here. Again. And one more time. Now we'll come to shoulder height. Turn your palms up. Inhale, open the chest. And then exhale, round the back and bring the arms to the front. So we're going to tuck the chin here as well. Let's do that a few times. 
So notice what's happening in your shoulders. You're stretching the fronts of your shoulders here. Let's bring the backs of the hands together now so we can stretch our upper back. A couple more. Let's do one more. Coming all the way up, inhale, hold the seat of your chair, and then keep breathing here. We're going to tap the heels forward. Now, if you're not sitting far enough forward, make sure that you move forward a little bit more. But you always want to feel like you're secure in your chair, like you're not about to fall out. So we're going to lift, instead of dragging the foot forward, we're going to lift the leg and tap the heel forward. Let's add an arm now, opposite arm forward. Stay tall, keep breathing. So, heel taps, now let's do toe taps. So stop, hold on to your chair again, and we'll tap out to the side. So I encourage you to continue to hold on to your chair seat if you need to, but if you feel comfortable doing so, I want you to take your arms in the opposite direction of your tapping foot. So there's a little twist. Hopefully you feel your core temperature coming up a little bit, your body's getting a little warmer, maybe you're breathing a little faster. So we'll come back now, feet are hip width distance apart, you're going to pick up your towel and we'll place it, make sure it's rolled up, place it between your knees and then we'll squeeze so your feet are hip width distance apart, so are your knees, now we're going to compress the towel, so squeeze and squeeze, and then we'll do the same thing with our hands. So there's nothing between our hands, we're just pushing one hand against the other. So this is somewhat an isometric contraction. In other words, there's not a large range of motion here, but we're getting lots of contraction. And this builds strength, even though there's not a lot of range of motion. Hopefully you can feel the contractions happening. Let's do two more. And then release that, take your towel down. Now we're going to twist, so we have to take our feet a little wider, and the twist is gonna come from our entire torso. So imagine that you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with your head, make it a big circle. Keep your eyes open here, and if you have any dizziness, just stop. We can join you there in a second. Let's go the other way. So we'll be doing something like this later that's a little more challenging. One more. All right, walking the feet back in now, we're going to lean forward, reach the arms out, bring the hands to your legs, and come up. So if you didn't see what I did, stop for a moment and look, and then join me. So this is fairly easy, but make sure that you're not shortening your abdomen. So keep your abdomen long, keep the back neutral, make sure you're not hunching your shoulders up toward your ears. Now we're going to make it tougher. Those of you who want it to be tougher, here you go. Come forward, arms out, and hold here. Now lift the arms a couple of inches up and down, up and down. So I want you to feel some tension between your shoulder blades. Squeeze between your shoulder blades and then keep extending your spine. In other words, keep lengthening your abdomen. Now let's go a little faster if we can. Now the faster we go, the harder it is for our core to stabilize. So you want to hold as still as you can through your torso and move your arms. Faster now, smaller, faster. All right, it's a lot of work considering there's no equipment right now. And then relax that, take your hands on your legs, come up, let's roll the shoulders a couple times to get rid of some tension. Let's also separate the feet a bit and twist to get rid of some tension in the back. Coming back to the center now, hold on to the seat of the chair and lift your knee. Seems really easy, right? But you have to remain tall. Make sure you're still sitting up nice and tall. So these are simple knee lifts. Let's make it a little fancier now. Think about the shape of a heart, and you're going to draw half of a heart with one leg. So here's half of a heart, and then in and down to the floor, and the other half. So we're going to try not to drag the foot. We're going to try not to drag the toes. Now, if you're able to do this, and you feel 
pretty comfortable. Then take your arms out to the sides. It becomes much more challenging now. We're going to do a couple more. Last one. And then back to the knee lifts. So back to the simple knee lift. Something different now. Take your fingers to your temples and then we'll twist without leaning forward too much. Try to bring the elbow close to the knee. Now avoid tilting too much forward. We're going to try to remain more upright here. It's probably best if you exhale as you twist. Gives you more space. All right, so you're thinking perhaps that this is a little bit too easy. So here comes something for those of you who feel like it's too easy. Keep going here if you're really comfortable with the amount of work. Otherwise, hold on to the base of your chair, lift your heels. And then if you're comfortable to go a little further, then we'll actually lift both feet off the floor. So this now becomes quite challenging for the core. And if you're good there, arms out. See, we don't even have to stand up to really get the heart rate going here. So these double knee lifts, if you're feeling any pain in your back, you can stop, you can hold on to the chair, you can keep your toes on the floor. Let's do four more. All right, let's go back to the seated march. So one arm forward, lifting your knee. And then a couple of shoulder rolls. Separate your feet and a couple of twists. So this is going to be the one time coming up now where I do want you to lean back. So again, adjust your feet so they're hip width distance. Scoot to the very front edge of your chair. Hands on your legs. Keep the chest lifted and we'll lean back. So if you were too far back in your chair, you're not going to have very much range of motion here. So make sure you scooted forward first. Now if this feels too easy, you can bring one or both arms across your chest. So now let's stay back for just a moment so we're just off of the back of the chair. If this is too much, lean forward further. Take the arms forward, and if you can, lift your arms up. Now your feet have to stay on the floor here. No feet coming up off the floor. Keep breathing. Can you lengthen your belly a little bit more? All right, come down. Nice. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Roll your shoulders. Twist away some tension. And now we'll bend sideways. So pretty much where we are now, take one hand down to the seat of your chair and lift the other arm up and over. We'll go back and forth. So this is called lateral flexion. This is side bending. Side bending, an important component of all the movements that our spine can do. All right, one more. All right. Let's get the heart rate going even more with some cardio. So, moving into single leg extensions. Hold on, lift one knee, extend, bend, and come down. So, the tricky part is to be able to do this without leaning back and while keeping your foot off the floor the whole time. This is strengthening for the front of our hips, strengthening for our core, and also strengthening for our legs. If you don't need your hands on the seat of the chair, then you can take your hands to your hips, extend, bend, and down. If you feel like your hamstrings are a little bit tight, you don't have to straighten your knee all the way out. Just go as far as you can. Make sure you're not leaning back. Two more. All right, feet down. Now we're going to touch the instep, starting with our feet wide. Reach down, opposite hand, touches the instep. And then we'll take one arm up if you want more challenge. So there's a little bit of a twist, but again, we're not leaning forward. Going slow, or if you can, starting to speed up. The faster we go, as long as we maintain our proper form, the more of a cardiovascular response you'll get, but we don't want to sacrifice our alignment. 
Remember, breathing through the mouth is okay. Start to slow down now. And then something similar, but without the arms. Imagine you have a soccer ball or maybe a hacky sack. You're going to kick it back and forth between your feet. So you have to kind of kick and lift, kick and lift. Your knee goes out to the side. Check your posture. If you're able to now, both feet are going to be off the floor just for a split second as you switch feet. So you're going to have some movement in your torso perhaps, but keep it to a minimum. Remember what I said a moment ago, slow is good, fast gives you more cardio benefits. So as long as you can maintain this and you're comfortable, let's go faster. And if you don't need to hold the chair, you don't have to. You can even twist a little bit. Let's do eight more. Seven, six. Keep the soccer ball going. And we're down. Roll the shoulders. Let's go up and down on the toes a couple times. Now from there, we'll do a chest press. So if you think about holding a basketball maybe and passing it to someone else from the chest, that's what we're doing here. Kind of an explosive movement. The heels are going up and down. Adding a little bit of speed if you need to, if you can, if you'd like. Even faster if you can. All right, and then we'll slow down. We'll keep going with this chest pass, and we'll add one knee up. So one foot is flat, the other knee is coming up. Picking up the speed if you can. I hope that your back is feeling good. I hope you're sitting tall. Let's try now, slowing down, holding onto the seat of the chair, and then just lifting the heels. And then if you can, lifting both feet, both feet. Can you do the chest pass too? Try one. If you were successful, try more than one. Now a little bit of rocking in your torso is okay, but keep it to a minimum. Let's do four, three, two, and come down. All right, roll your shoulders. Hopefully you feel your heart rate is up. Let's twist just a little bit to get rid of any tension. Marching in place now. So opposite arm or same side arm if that works better for you. So now that we have the heart rate up, we want to keep it up for another moment or two. Take the arms down to your sides and we'll tap the heel forward. So heel, heel, and then arms sweep, sweep. So did you know that when the arms are overhead, the heart rate goes up automatically just to accommodate that position? So keeping that in mind, let's keep the arms overhead for a bit so we can get the heart rate up a little higher. All right, so slow is good. Faster may be more appropriate for you. If you're feeling good, let's go faster. Remember to work at your own pace here. Working hard, hard as you can. And we'll start to slow it down. Let's use some of the space alongside us now. Bring the arms down. Similar but different. So toes out, one foot at a time. Toes out. We did this in the warm-up, but we're going to make it more intense if you want to. 
Let's go with the same side arm now. Arms down at your sides, and we'll sweep the arm up and up. All right, so covering lots of space here. So step way out, reach way up, but don't lean too far over because you don't want to fall. Faster if you can. Last four now. Four, three, to keep the legs going, no arms. All right, so we're going to finish with something pretty intense, but we'll build it just like we have been. So feet in, now you're going to step out, out, in, in. Doesn't matter which leg you start with because I'm going to give you the option of taking both feet out at the same time and in. So if you're stepping, eventually alternate which foot you start with so you can make them even. If you're okay with this, Hopping out and in, then add some arms. Out, in, out, in. So this is a seated jumping jack. And just like with a regular jumping jack, if you would like to sweep your arms up higher for more intensity, you can. And again, just like with regular jumping jacks, if you'd like to go faster, that gives you more of a cardiovascular response. So let's go a little faster if we can. So draw your navel in towards your spine. Keep sitting up tall. Go as fast as you can here. I hope you're working as hard as you can. Let's do the last four now. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's march. So we're gonna do a little bit of a cool down here. Ease your arms down a little straighter, a little lower. Now just the heels lifting. So we don't want to just stop after doing an elevated heart rate exercise. We want to kind of gradually slow down and then stop. And that's what we're doing here. Let's tap the heels out now. We can let go of the arms, heel, and heel. Keep this slow. Hold on if you feel like you need to. And then we're going to twist, so take your feet in, separate them, twist from side to side. So we're going to do another really important component of fitness in just a second here. We're going to do some flexibility work. It feels good. It makes you feel better. So stay with me. We just have a few more minutes. Come back in with the feet. Roll your shoulders up and around. And then we'll sweep the arms up, inhale, and exhale through your mouth if you like. Do that twice more. And one more time. All right, flexibility work now. So the first thing we're going to do is take the hands behind the head, lift the chest, and draw the elbows toward the back of the room or whatever's behind you. Lift up, draw the shoulder blades in. If these were your shoulder blades, they'd be going in and down your back. So think about what's going on in your upper back. Try to squeeze the shoulder blades in. And now breathe into your upper chest, breathe into your front ribs. Really open up. Hopefully that feels nice. We tend to be very tight in the front of our body. Now one hand down on the chair, the other arm reaches up and over and we're gonna hold here. So if you feel more stable with your feet apart, go ahead and move them. Try not to twist or lean back. And then we'll do the other side. Stretching through our sides. Breathing into the side that's stretching. See if you can release some tension there. Let's come back to the center. So again, the feet are hip width distance apart. Pick up your leg, and if possible, I want you to fold it over 
into a right angle at your knee. If you're not able to get there, just cross your ankles in front for now. Now we're leaning forward. If you don't have something to lean forward onto, you can lean forward onto your knee here, but if you have your leg here, I want you to lean forward onto your leg. So lift up, lean forward from the front of your hips, and feel that wonderful stretch in the side of your hip. And then the other. We used our hips quite a bit today. Now the next movement that we're going to do is sideways facing. So take both your feet down, turn sideways, but don't turn all the way around because I want you to be able to see me. Hold the back of your chair, and if you're on a couch, grab the back of the couch if you can. Just make sure that you're not going to leave your seated surface here. You're going to grab your ankle and try to point that side knee down at the floor. Lift up. We're stretching the front of our thigh. If you're not able to grab your ankle, you can try your pant leg instead. And then we're continuing around to a sideways facing position. Now look at me for just a second. Sit up tall, grab the back of your chair or couch, and look over your shoulder. And then come back to the center, and we'll go right around to the other side. So first the leg stretch, lift up, hold the back, hold the ankle, knee points down. And then twisting, feet flat on the floor for this lifting up through the crown of the head, twisting around. And then back to the center. Take the palms together, tuck your chin, reach forward, separating your shoulder blades. And then last but not least, let's take the hands behind. You can grab the back of your chair or interlace your fingers if you're able to reach. Take a deep breath in. And then release. All right. So thank you for joining me today. I'm Dee Dee Daniels. Thank yourself for being here with me and taking such great care of yourself. See you next time. Thank you.